correct me if I'm wrong. You you do you pray you know Bible verses and stuff like that or what? I wouldn't say so. Um, what do you what I, do you like? You mentioned you have sure. like select tracks or something like that. What does that mean? So I'll I'll give an example. So imagine that you sit on the edge of your bed at the end of the day and you think back. Okay, how did I? present myself today and what I did and what I say was I integrated as a person did I did I miss the mark so to speak did I lie did I do something that I knew to be wrong but did anyway if you ask that question in a genuine manner um and you want an answer I think you get an answer and where that answer comes from um in what form I think is mysterious and I don't know, but that's a version that I can get behind. Does that make sense? That does. Yeah. So it's, I, there's a heavy dose of like psychology in there. So it's not totally clear to me how much of that, you know, how much of the religious domain crosses with the psychological domain in that case. But in terms of like a tangible way that I would describe prayer that's what I would describe it as. Not as wish fulfillment, not as saying, you know, God, please help me with this problem. Um, something that, that, that provides an answer in a, in a tangible way. So what, what would you say while we're on this topic? What's your background in this, in this dimension? So I, I grew up Catholic and yep. I went to CCD, all that, you know, I call it bullshit, honestly, because it was just horrible. <laughs> Um, yep. and so then I fell out of religion for a number of years. I, I stopped talking to God. I didn't do any good, didn't go to church for a number of years. And so uh, this is a great point to circle us back is going through my, my whole health thing with the kidney transplant. Yep. I don't know what clicked in my head and, and well, I, I do know so, like, a, a, a multiple situations occurred back to back. And that's, that's how at least my belief in God, like completely lit, like a light switch just went off. And so. Yeah. Um, ever since then, you know, I, I talk to God, I, I pray, I do different things. Now I, I don't go to church, but it's more or less like some sort of relationship. Uh, you know, and I thank him for the basics and, and all kind of stuff. So I was just curious if, if you did, you know, what type of relationship I guess you had, but, um, I, I believe like, you know, God helped me and, and did some miracles as far as time wise stuff mm -hmm. and, um, and just showed me, you know, different blessings as weird as it might sound i think my whole thing with the kidney transplant was a blessing because it allowed me to escape the day-to-day -day of my business and so i had no choice but to put systems and processes excel spreadsheets the way we do things mm -hmm. to my assistant to my manager i had to train him how to do estimates all while i'm like literally dying of kidney disease like figuratively obviously you can go on a machine or get a transplant but sure um which was kind of a blessing because now I have a lot more freedom and stuff like that. Yeah, no, that's, that's a, that's a very interesting and, um, what would you say? Healthy way to look at a situation like that. So I'm glad that you were able to get through that. It is interesting how it kind of forced you to allocate and which again, it's not that I would wish this is the interesting thing about tragedy and, and, and suffering in the world. It's like, I don't wish it upon anyone. But when you reflect back upon it, generally those moments of hardship were the moments in which you improved the most or where life became more tangible in a way that forced you to confront things that you were leaving in the dark, let's say. And it sounds like you had at least somewhat of that experience. Would you say that's true? Dude, I would put that 100%. I can't agree with those words more, dude. Like that's that's 100%. Mm -hmm. No, that's that's really cool, and and I we'll stay on this topic a little bit longer if you don't mind. Um, you don't, so you don't go to church. That's right. I don't don't consecutively. I'll you know okay. maybe go once, twice, mm -hmm. three times a year. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, does your wh I guess what's your family background in that dimension then? So mom's side is is not religious. Dad's side is. Um, growing up, we went to church every Sunday. Till we got to like 11, 12, 13 or something. Um, but that that's the background. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So would you say that you've had to kind of find your own path in a sense? Yes. Now, 
yeah. yes, within the past, you know, three, four years. Hmm. But I think finding the path was a lot easier because I had that background of going to CCD, of going to church. Yep. So, it, you know, I, you know, that's all I got there. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you had some scaffolding. It wasn't completely novel. Exactly. So, no, that's huge. No, it's really cool to hear that you have re-embraced, let's say, a authentic version of, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but perhaps faith, and at least a relationship with God or relationship with the divine that has propelled you in a positive manner. That's that's really cool to hear. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that. 100%. So. Cool. Yeah, and it... It, it's it's a topic that um, I think more people need to talk about. So I'm, I'm glad you brought it up. Um, it's I think we we run the risk of allocating the religious domain to the back burner to kind of ignore it. And as you have found from what it sounds like, that was something even with within the tragic experience it elevated it to a higher degree and now you're changed as an individual for the better because of it. And I think, I think that's huge. So that's really cool to hear. Yeah. Yeah. I look at, I look at it as a blessing as weird as that sounds. 